How about we start today in Puerto Rico, where according to the latest report from the Department of Health, the COVID positivity rate on the island currently sits at 14.57 percent, making it the highest transmission rate in the territory or the territory has seen since February, I should say. Now, our One Caribbean News, Francis Felix, actually spoke with the director of a local vaccination site and brings us more on the recent approval of that second booster shot. The positive rate of COVID-19 in Puerto Rico continues to increase according to reports from the Department of Health. This occurred in few weeks after Governor Pierluisi eliminated the mask mandate and lifted other measures. Well, when, when, you see the, uh, when you see the situation around the world, we have uh, other increased cases in Europa or Asia. We know eventually they come to the America, U.S. and Puerto Rico because we have a lot of flight. We are to prepare and we know in a couple of weeks they come, the, the situation comes to Puerto Rico. So we need to work on that. What percent of people have the first booster? Okay, well, right now in Puerto Rico, we have 49% of our population have the first booster. And right now, we start to, to give it the first re, uh, booster and the second boosters uh, for the last week. When you start vaccinating the second booster here in okay. Bosses? If you know, the last week, uh, FDA approval and then CDC have the recommendations. Uh, the last Friday, we start to bring access to the population about the second shot to the 50 years uh, plus uh, the peoples. And right in, in Plaza Las Americas, our more bigger center, we receive a more 500 people by day uh, to receive the second shot. A couple of them is maybe the first booster, but the most of them is a, is a second shot, the booster. What is the recommendation we realized that the government passed to the population the responsibility uh, to, to take uh, our toolbox, what we have. We have a mask, we have vaccines, we have uh, pills for treatment to the pe people who have uh, COVID. Uh, we know we have available for free to the test. If you don't feel well, you go on anywhere of the Department of Health. Departamento de Salud or Departamento of Health, have the available the test, make a test or stay by home. If you don't feel well, maybe just so simple symptoms, but stay at home and don't share the, 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 the COVID with, the, with your family or the community. Check your, your immunization card, read the, when you need the first, uh, first booster or second booster, and move on. Move on, go to the, any center of buses or any other center they have availability to the vaccines. The Department of Health mentioned that the vaccine against COVID-19 decreases over time. Buses and health concurs that it's important to receive the booster. From Atorrey, Puerto Rico, Frances Félix.